From a single rose to bouquets, a wreath, and balloons, Lake City community members, fellow officers, and city leaders stopped by today to pay their respects to Lieutenant John Stewart, who died following yesterday's police pursuit. During a press conference yesterday, city and county officials spoke about a man well respected in the community. Uh, he had a desire in his heart to be the best that he could be, and he emphasized that every day. He is a hero from Lake City Police Department. He is not only a police officer here in Lake City, but he's been a member of our community. He is a well-respected officer and very professional in all that he has ever done. A spokesman with the Florence County Sheriff's Office released today that they've arrested Jermaine Ryan Roberson in connection to the incident. He's charged with assault and battery, carjacking, failure to stop for blue lights, and kidnapping. The release says Roberson approached the vehicle, stated he had a weapon, got in, and told the victim to drive. Deputies say he eventually pushed the driver out of the car and while being chased, struck a pedestrian. Florence County deputies later performed a pit maneuver to stop the suspect and take him into custody. State police is investigating the incident that claimed Stewart's life. At this point, they haven't said what led to his death. Community members say they were at a loss hearing the news. To know that um, there is maybe a child or a mother, um, you know, a wife, just, you know, they're not going to have that, that husband or that father to come home. And, um, you know, everybody's just close with um, the police department. Like you said, it's a small knit community. And Bad thing for the community to know that something like that happened, you know, in a, in a, in a little small town. The motorcade left early this morning and passed through Lake City on its way back from Charleston. The streets were lined with people watching and local fire departments hung American flags in honor of the late officer. The motorcade eventually ended in Timmonsville at a local funeral home where Lieutenant Stewart's family was waiting. Chief Joseph Cooper says today was hard for him and his officers, but knows it's going to take time for everyone to heal. The journey's not over with yet. Still got a long week ahead of us. Still got long days ahead of us after this. So it never ends. He is a, he's truly a hero. Everyone that I spoke with says Lieutenant Stewart was always there when we needed him and was as reliable as they come. Funeral arrangements have not been set yet for Lieutenant Stewart, but once they are, we'll let you know on WPDE.com. On Thursday, Florence County Council approved to allocate two grants to fund two new fire trucks, while 17 more will be paid for through the county's penny sales tax. The Florence County Unified Fire District has slowly been making strides to upgrade its equipment, from opening new fire stations to receiving new rescue boats. With these fire trucks totaling close to $15 million on the way, Fire Coordinator Sam Bronkington says the district can continue to keep public safety at the forefront. The Florence County Council uh, realizes that their number one priority is the life and property of the citizens they serve and they do everything possible to support public safety. Brockington says while inspecting the district's fleet, he noticed several trucks like the one at House Spring Station 1 were more than 20 years old. He tells me the useful lifespan for fire trucks is 20 years and any time after that it's difficult to find replacement parts and its safety standards are out of date. He says these 19 new fire trucks will be a game changer to withstand impacts and crashes, rollovers, a much better braking system, more power for the engine, 
And then the fire apparatus has uh, generally larger pumping capacity and carries more water. Brockington tells me the district now has a proper system to keep track of aging equipment, so nothing more than 20 years will be used in the field. You're only as strong as your backup, and we realize that, and together we're making the whole much better. <laughs>